First Corinthians ni Wakorintho wa kwanza sura ya kwanza mstari wa 22 First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 22 Nataka niongee kuhusu when you meet a needy god I know it sounds very funny but Mungu unaweza kutana naye akihitaji Na nitakuonyesha kwa Biblia na ndio sababu sasa tunaanza kuguza vitu kama attitude Imagine meeting a needy god Let me also give you an example If you were given two people and you were asked to help them uwekewe maskini hapa na uwekewe kiongozi wa nchi ungetaka kusaidia nani Si you know, una street why it is easy kusaidia maskini kusaidia kiongozi ni gumu kwa sababu itakupatia sleepless nights hautajua ni nini haswa atafurahia maana na tena unakubuka kitu unampea si kwamba hana So what makes it so special from what you already have? Then there's going to be a lot of thinking into this. Jina Bwana nibarikiwe. Wadugu na wadada. Ah uh, mimi nimewahi saidia watu wako chini yangu na nimewahi kuwa na opportunity vile vile to show into the life of a person that's ahead of me. And I can tell you there are two different experiences. Two different experiences. Jina Bwana nibarikiwe. Kuna wakati wakati nilikuwa chini ya mai. Nilikuwa nakaa najiuliza nini mtu anaweza pea hii mtu afurahi? Lakini ukiita maskini moja uiambie and uweke kadi ya mia atakushukuru mpaka Kristo arudi tena. Kai modha nilo cry kai ya kumyoka. Modha nilo boso. Ma it is very easy. You don't even need, need to think to help somebody who is raw. It is when now you have an opportunity to give to a person that you know they have what you are trying to give them. Then attitude must come into play now. Jina bwana libarikiwe. Jina bwana libarikiwe. Na Well, what an kusomea hii mstari sasa ita make sense. Let's read first Corinthians chapter 1 verse 22. Then I will explain uh, this concept as we move on. Verse 22 inasema hivi. For the Jews require a sign. At Wayahudi Wayahudi wao hutaka ishara. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wayahudi ndio mu convince. Wanataka kuona ishara. Na kwa sababu wayahudi wanataka ishara yani hawawezi wakaamini kitu ni cha Mungu bila kuona muujiza na wayahudi hawa si necessarily those Jews this is a category of people bwana sifa sana they want to see signs they want to see miracles and the greeks hao ni wasomi greeks walikuwa wanajulikana kwa masomo by the way greek wame to affect hata kwa system yetu ya masomo sasa hivi hizi alphabet tunatumia ni zao a b c d these are greek alphabets etigo By the way kama wakikuyu sisi hatuna zetu. I think na, na wajaru, hamuna. I think ni vizuri kukueleza. Ndio sababu naona majina yetu inabidi tutumie za Greek tuzikarabati. Jina kama nganga. Huu guru takode mwataishi yo guy. Imagine jina nganga. Kama kama zingekuwa zetu tungekuwa na na, na herufi moja inaitwa nga. <laughs> na kwa sababu hatuna tumetumia za Greek tukaweka apostrophe. Ndio isaude nga. Don't know about the idea. Greeks have helped us because they were one superpower. Na walikuwa wamecolonize dunia na jia kubwa. Na wao ndio walileta mambo ya masomo sana. They were known for education, academics, uh, the Hellenistic Empire. That's history. Bonus be sana. So the Greeks uh, were known for I mean you cannot convince them until you make sense. And even today we have people who are that way inclined. Hawezi ukamwambia kitu mpaka aone sense. He kitu ina imetoka wapi ikielekea wapi unaona alafu inasema ya kwamba they seek after wisdom but we preach Christ lakini kuna kakudi ingine hawa si wayahudi na si greeks wanaitwa new creation they may come from the greeks or come from the jews but wakati wamefika hapa wakaokolewa na bwana wanaitwa another race of people this new creation the bible says we preach Christ We preach Christ na, kusa, na kuharibu saidi we preach him crucified. Ndio sababu muyahudi sasa muwezi yarawana. Maana how is a crucified Christ going to help me? He himself could not save himself from the cross. Amerara hapo akiria hero hero ila masaba kidhana afuate hudi na kuambia ndio jemeda jemeda gani ya huwa natudikwa kwa msalaba. That's why it does not make sense. Sasa naye mugriki anakuulizaje ama muyunani? 
how does his death going to the cross affect me here? <laughs> what kind of science is that? Ata diyo mungu aniokuwa na mashida anifanya mtu wakuwezimika anipatio tukufu yake mtu anaenda kukufa kwa musaraba Okay, ya kukufa pare juu na mimi hapa zina perekana wapi You see? If I try to apply my own human wisdom it does not make sense Na hata huwa nambia watu wakovu ni imani from the start to the finish Wakati unamuka asubi unasema kama reo tulikuwa tunafundishwa na mtumishu wa buwana Mini stawaitaka kuhusu the blood Na nikaona nyote mukisema amen Umewa yona hiyo damu wewe Ndoi nwe wakua lia Umewa yona hiyo damu Unajua ingekua very easy kama tungeibeba na kasuku Na tunakuambia this is the very blood that flew from his side Bada ya anointing wele tunamaguza na hiyo touch Ungeona vile watu wangeamini Toge sikia na sikia mutu wanasema na sikia vitu inatambea kwa mwili Yani ameshika mana ameskia ni hile damu clear ilitoka kwa Shida ni hiyo damu hawaku ipilisafu Hatuna Ni damu ya imani Mimi kwangu sijawa yona Mutu mahali ya tayona uchote unileteka kadogo Bakini na amini hiko na iliniyosha Wakati unasema yesu wanaishi dani yako Mshua hujai sikia kikohoa asubuhi Sijo Hey moro wa moro ni okira No Haujawai sikia Ama ukasikia mekuguza pancreas Akipita kuwakua watu Umbewa isikia Ata mekuguza Yesu ni ahuti ya mahuri Enyeleta kuhu ono kia It has never happened But we say he lives in you and you believe it Oh that's why you are new creation These things can only make sense When the spirit of God is involved Jina bono libalikiwe Na kwa hivyo nasema ya kuamba And to the Jews Now because of preaching Christ crucified And to the Jews he has become a stumbling block Yesu kimubili akiwa mesirubiwa kwa muyahudi Mwehudi anajikoa kwa waki Anakuasika na ye Kwa sababu likuwa na itajika akuji atuokoe na warumi Atuondolea madu hao oto anatusubua Ata sahia kinareba na onenanani Why is it not happening? So you preach to him Christ and tell him Your savior is the one there Your savior is Jesus And I say no he is not We cannot have him as our savior And we are still having so many enemies against us He stumbles over him And then the Bible says And unto the Greeks he has foolishness Wakovu kwa musomi ni ujinga Na jesabu kizazi hiki mana kimesoma We are producing so many atheists Because atheists ni mutu wanasema God does not make sense How is God God? Na batoto wanakufa Mungu ni mungu na jiagani na Kenya inakahi vina ekonome hii Na asasa nasikia kiwa muerevu sana Tame uliza suwali hatu na jibu Waja kujisubua tafadhali Si mungu wa meharibu dunia Ni wanadamu You should not blame God for the problems that are in the world No, it's not God who is behind this? It is human beings. Wakati na pereka mtoto hospitali na kuta hakuna dawa. Ni mungu walikura pesa ama ni niyampi wakwenu. Ni mungu walikura pesa hospitali ya CDF ama niyampi. Na bono na ingiza mungu hapo. Mungu walipatiana hii dunia kwa mwanadamu. Mwanadamu wa ishugulikie. Aitunze. Mwanadamu likushindua meshindua. And that's why he wants to change you to be new creation. So that wherever you are, you are going to live it better than you found it. You are not just born again to go to heaven. You are born again to affect your environment. Tunairawana waduguna wadada. So, wakati tunaona kifo kimeja na nini, na tena kubuka, makosa yetu haijaanza sahi, ilianza na mutu wa kwanza. Alikosea, akaverokamu kifo. It would not be here, but that man fell. Jina mwana nibalikiwe. So, it was never God's idea for the things that are going on right now to... To be happening the way they are happening. So hata wakati unakuta watu wakona kansa, mutu wa mefura huku, rafu mutu unasema ya kwamba, how can God allow? No, God did not allow. This world is foreign. And that's why you need the faith to live above some of the things that are going on right now. In fact, Kenya bila imani where is the wife? I'm telling you. I mean, you feel hijacked. Unajua hii inchi mutu wanafiru ni kama iku hijacked. Ni kama iku hijacked. Unaenda kutafuta justice where is the pata? Mutu ule umesimama kwa nani justice unatafuta Umekosewa Lazima ulipe I think it was today morning Nikuwa nasikiza muzungu mwingine Anahojiwa kwa TV ingine ya ngambo Rafu wanasema Amekua missionary Akienda so many places Na inchizili amekutana nazo the most corrupt in the world Number one is Nigeria We are number two You can't believe it. Alikuja akataka kujenga boholes, apee watu maji. 
the government officials demanded him to pay for him to be able to build the boreholes. And he is giving to the community. At the deal, Uchimba is a borehole it abidu to Hongi. I think Nigakua Mungu Kunatu Nigakua Navina and Hiki Dora Kubo, Nona Hikubo Mutuna Trokiana Hukona Mampaka to Nazawa, what a Kunaja Mazishi in a picture. Picture come is what has if I. But the, the, thank God I'm not a God. <laughs> that, that's why every day Ukiamuka Shukuru Mungu. Imagine Sasa Kuna Maskini Hata Fikiwa Namaji. Mana msamaria mwe mari si mamishwa na mutu wanataka hongo. Na hasemi au, at, at, afanya boho au uze maji, ape community maji. But he has to pay a bribe to be around. Akasema he was so much embarrassed. He never saw that. Because that does not happen in first world. Never. That's why they are first world. Na mukitu wa third world. Na tutokana. Ona mutiri ya rume. You are going to have to be better than you are right now. Na hiyo kovu yako isikuwe ni yako kwa nyumba, kuwa koka, kuria, kuzamehewa. Begin to affect the environment around you. Anza kuwa mutu wa kwanza kusema, siwezi kakupea hongo, siwezi kubali. Ukishikuwa na polisi yapa na traffic, muambia mizi kupati. Kama hauni zamehewa kutaka, tuende kotini. Wana muti giuga ime, nini uremu? Tuna muna mnyo na rushiro mbukahe, ya na? I wonder the judgment of God will begin in the church. It is going to begin right in the house of God. Man, the corrupt people are this one. I don't make it. Ah, Libokoria Bashand. Nani corruption in Roma. Corruption is so bad. It's like a cancer. It hijacks a country. Progress can't happen because one great man is going to stop the whole process. God forbid. Jina Bonari Balkue. We are Muslims. We are the ones who Ati ya nafurahia vile roka asti zimekuja. Ona katoa muwega. Ijabuku anaongea. Anaongea. Anasema, I'm not surprised that rockers are coming to this country. Those people are very deceptive. They are the most deceptive people I ever met. Najua mzungu wajui kufitia. Aki kuchukia na kwa, I hate you. Na ikazo na kuna kaukweli. Kwa Kenya are very deceptive. They never tell you anything straight. That's why you should never be a Kenyan. You are the new creation. <laughs> be a Christian. So, uh, etuma. Kwa hivyo, Christo kwa mutu musomi, mutu nataka kuwerewa mambo kwa jia ya akiri, anakuwa foolishness. It does not make sense. Then, verse 24. But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God. He says, and the wisdom of God. Verse 25, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Oh. Kwa hivyo kuna eneo ya mungu neza angalia uwone ujinga. But don't be fooled. That foolishness is wiser than man's wisdom. And then he says also, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. So God has weakness. Yes, he has. But his weakness is still stronger than man's strength. So if I tell you that you can meet a weak God, please trust me, you can. Unaza kutari na mungu ambaya na kamu nyonge. Lakini usidaganyike. Imagine alisema ya kwamba, wakovu yote ya dunia imefichwa kwa mutoto. Na alipozaliwa, alijulikana tu na wala wakona ufunuo. Watu kama ana diyo walitoa unabuwa kasema ya kwamba, behold the salvation of men has come. Na ni katoto wa meinua. A Greek in Luca that is... <laughs> Maya katumia ya fagi Kule kani ni wanapia kaha wa mama pagi Imagine u mama nasema te wakofu yetu yote Ya dunia mefitwa kwa haka katoto Hamezika hapa kana wanya Mana yeshu walikuwa just a normal child Nye 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 Akitupa branketi Rafu watu watu wanasema te wakofu yote ya dunia Imefitwa kwa haka Muti ya giriki ya nenda kisema Oh no that's why they don't have innovation That's why they cannot have technology Kama dunia zahina to the haki kisema ya kwamba Religion is the problem of Africa these people cannot go on because everything they want to interpret it spiritually. Well, when a technology ya kuenda, mahali unakuenda. Na sisi kuna shida tukonazo, mukonazo, you never see them in Africa. Because how is ukapawa vitu zote? Tunairawanwa. And you must be proud to be who you are. Na tena kama mungu wakataka uzaliwa mahali kuna technology, ugezaliwa huko. Sisi tuliuzaliwa huku, na kile tulijua ni uganga. Rafu tukawakoka sasa tukona uganga musuri. Hei. 
Innovation zote tutafanya. Technology yote tutafanya. But not at the expense of God. No, we won't. We shall have both. We are going to be godly people, powerful people, and still innovative. Jina mbona nibarikiwe. But we don't have to tuachilie mungu at the tuendelee bere. Apana. That's, that's a life from the pit of hell. You don't have to lose God to progress. It's not true. <laughs> Sasa mungu, by the way, in, in fact, hata tisijiko nina kuambia the same time you can meet God in weakness. He always comes that way. Okovu ya dunia nzima, dani ya katoto. Israel wa meteswa miaka miya ine, ati na wakovu yao imefichwa dani ya katoto kegine. At around the same time, the baby Moses was born. Oyo, oh, oyo. Oh, oh. Imagine mukiria mukiabia mungu tunaumia, tunabebeswa matofari. Na ya nawambia ni tawajibu. Munadhani mutakuta feru wa meaguka katakatika viungo vya mwiri. Badala ya viungo, munaona katoto mama yake kukenye mpaka kametupua kwa muto. Ati diyo kataokorewa, kasomeswe na feru, kakue kakupua, kakuja kuwaokoa. Yosikia watu ingini wakisema, wawano kiosi yoleki ya ikari. Yo wakofu wacha ikai. Kwa sabu wata kaburaifiki ya utakufa. I don't know why God looks foolish. Ata sahi kuna mutu ni vile hawezi ya katumia jina foolish. But you're dealing with a very foolish God. Wewe mwenye unaerewa. Ata unahamuka subu unamuonyesha. Nyopane kuhikwera hiko. Nyumba inafungwa. Kea teka. Fafa. Kea teka. Na anakuwa na vifugwa nyingi masafi masafi unamweleza kila kitu alafu naamini naamini nikirudi utanipea pesa haitafungwa amen ukirudi jeu nakuta kufulibili mpaka namuuza which part of my prayer didn't you he looks foolish <laughs> imagine na imani ni kuamini ate hii ujinga it's wiser than my understanding never ever did god ask us to understand him the bible says believe because if you try to understand God, you never understand Him. So, usijaribu kumwerewa, haja kuomba umwerewe. Eh, hata ya najua uwezi kumwerewa. Alisema uniamini. <laughs> Ukiona hiyo mafuguo nyingi ya mezika na hamefunga, just believe. <laughs> Nikama watu wala walitoka kwa kina mustiana huyo likuwa na ugua pepo. Mustiana ya jairu. Wakakuja kwa Yesu wakamuambia mtoto wangu wana ugua pepo. Na jairu wakatatemeka na wakagojea Yesu watarespond. Badala ya respond, haka enderea kuhubiri. Yeah, yeah. Ufarme ya mungu ya makui Watu wakatoka nyumbani wakambia jayu Wacha kumusubua Hata mtoto wame kufu <laughs> Unazikia kumutukana <laughs> Na watu ya wote Jesu kilimu <laughs> Chiga eh. Tunakweleza mtoto wanaugua kule Na unahubiria watu wapa Na anahubiria mama boka <laughs> Yesu alijua imani yake itajaribiwa Aligeuka mara moja akamwambia ignore them just believe Amen. don't try to understand Amen. na ninaonaka watu wengine wanajaribu wakovu kwa kui understand tafadhali utaumia <laughs> tumeumiswa tumeumiswa na watu wana, wengine wananda ka direction hako nimewai muambia buwana mana mimi nika muda mulevu sana kwa kaniza bila guo siju yu yalikuwa kwa nini ya nipei guo <laughs> na siju yu yalikuwa nazo nimejitafutia yaka niambia nitupe <laughs> mana nilikuwa nimebiaibia watu na wengine kupora wengine nimefanya me I was a bad boy my friend Kuru mungu kwa wakovu <laughs> Sasa bona siku moja Wakati al, aliniambi Tulikuwa kwa kesha ya youth Hakaniambia ni takupatia karama Utakuwa unaangalia bibiria unaona mambo Watu wengine hawaoni Kasema glory thank you Nikafikiria taitakuwa tu hivyo You know Harafu ninaosha guo Iyo karama ilianguka juu yangu nikiosha guo It was so heavy Heavy Nilisikia kama ni mukona ya mutu mukubwa Na ni kama ni mevalishu wakabuti Oversize Arafu ni kama mkono ya mutu imenisikia hapa suwezi ya muka Na ninalia uncontrollably Na kwa sababu wamewai nifanya hivyo tena The good thing nilikuwa kwa kanisa And I know it always ends up violent Nika mwabia buwana duka aje kedho ni Bere ya aje mima <laughs> Mana tulikuwa hapo na masista zangu na Kawambia ruki aje kuhuji kiguru haa Una hawa hatu Nilikudani yangu nika mwabia ni ya tumiyama Duka aje kiyogu <laughs> Sinifanya hivyo Hafu nikaenda kwa barabara Nikatebea ikatulia Wakati nikuja kuangalia baibu wadugu na wadada It was completely new to me Nilisoma ni, ni, Yani ni kama kumulika na tochi Nikaona kwa maisha angu kuna vitu nyingi sana Sitajiki kuwa nazo Hapo dio nichukua guzangu zote nikatupa Nandi siku pea mutu maana Si vizuli kuwa bukisa watu maroho ya wisi Nikachukua nikazitupa The only thing nikuwa nimepata na jahira inafa Nirongi moja, shati moja na zilipas Tasa hara ingina nilikuwa nae nilitupa 
Alafu naye Mungu ni kadhani atakuja immediately kwa sababu ni bwana wa mabwana. Eh, mdudu si mdhuri usio ni kuru. Lakini unajua bibi nasema Mungu ni mzee wa zamani. Na ukisikia mtu anaitwa mzee wa zamani, ni Mungu mwetageri. Unajaribu kumuonyesha hiti usadi. Nahitaji kiatu. Unafikia hujaongea na nguvu vizuri. Unaongeza kiatu kai. Alafu saada inafika, unakuta silipa ile ile. Nimewaenda kwa kanisa shati hiyo maana nilifua jana na kulikuwa kwa msimu ya mvua haijakauka inakaukia kwa kanisa naye moshi inatoka hivyo watu wengine nafikia ni shakai na glory <laughs> tena mvuke wa moshi ya, ya uwepo wa bwana sisi uwepo ya bwana inakauka <laughs> nikukauka inakauka hapo ndio niliona a foolish god for the first time because i was new in faith mudulele the road na daranyita mtu anaeleza kitu na haelewi paka ninaamka saa saba ninaona kama hii masaa ninaomba Ah uh, nitadrali anake emuthukia mutwe. Wacha wa, wa, wacha niamuke mapema. <laughs> wacha niamuke mapema ninaamka saa nane Wakati hakuna mtu mwingine amemletea shenanigans. Ninamueleza baba ni kirato. Hata <laughs> hata nikaona kama hajui viatu nikamuelezea ya pasta. Kama unaona hivi pa, viatu pasta huva. <laughs> Siuli sema with God all things are possible. Eh, and all things are possible to them that believe. Eh. Tutia kisamania. <laughs> With you things are possible all things are possible to me because i believe amen Sada na kanyaga tu nazilipa sinikielekea na unasikia hata nikajaribu kumutisha nikamwambia nitakurudishia hii wokovu yani vitu nyingi eh taiva kwa mnyore nikupatia upeleke upeleke watu wengine wanaielewa maana ni horo kito ndi genyi tatwarira adwa ya mangi uelewa vitu nyi but even today i'm still here by the grace of god but this is the point god was foolish to me or so he seemed and even right now I know I'm, talk, I'm talking to people that to them God looks so foolish unachindwa hiyo mbi ni mweleza nini haja elewa hapo unachindwa kumuambia nina thia kiwa hatuna maranyu ulia wananuliza ako hapi mungu yako na unaulizo one month two months na wala wanakulizo na wambea wakufe badu ya kukufa wananona na wananunua gali ya hoit hehehe kwanza usijai kai jaribu goma mambo kama hiyo before uombe mtu akufe hakikisha kuna reason <laughs> za kutoja utaibika asijui kwa nini mara nyingi ukiwaambia akufe ndio unakuta wananona tu vitu tuzuri tuzuri hata unasikia alinunua nyumba ingine paka unasikia kuichoma <laughs> because you are dealing with a god who is not at the frequency of your thinking he is above your mind he does not think like that god is different na, na wewe ndio unahitajika ukae kama Mungu si Mungu a compromise akae kama wewe yes. he's your lord you are not <laughs> kube si kujua katika hii kumgojea kuna kazi nyingine ya ndani inafanyika which is more important than just a piece of cloth yes. and what is the point if i give you the whole world the bible says and lose your own soul so i will work on the soul first yes. i will reduce your speed and show you you don't have to get your way all the time yes. now that makes a mature christian yes. and maturity takes such processes which we don't like naturally Amen. i know we don't Amen. we don't ningetaka mungu akisema ameniita kesho niende huru paka nifanye mkutano ijaye who doesn't want that but unakaribishwa kwa chemba ya a foolish god unajaribu kumueleza mpaka unamuonyesha kaleda baba ndi kuaminia hapa naona tumefugua kaleda nyingi ndio tufiki anakuambia kwamba need you haka and is sergero mimi kama mungu huwa sikuji kabla ya wakati na sicherebi na endeshana na wakati paka siku moja unamwambia let thy will be done ndiye anasema bas nimekuwa nikiguguka je ufike hapo tika kuhanyura hanyura ndiye kama anatawe mungu ni mungu ni msewa zamani sana vina inamuita ancient of days guy so kufikiria tu utamkibisha kibisa na maombi ah uh, please how <laughs> He will do the important things first. Amen. He will make sure purpose is, is in place before he answers to your sentiments. Amen. That's your God. Na kwa sababu ya kujaribu kumuelewa watu wengi wamejikwa. Like the like the Greeks now because they don't understand him how is he our savior on the cross? He should be to these people. He didn't. He came and went to the cross. They stumbled over him. They don't like him. Hata sayo kienda uhubiria muisiliani umwambie mambo ya Yesu mtakosana. They don't like him. Because they tried to understand him. They didn't believe. You don't need to understand God. Believe him. Those are two different things. 
ni kama mtoto wangu akuja niambie baba nataka penseli alright sasa enda urare imefika kwa mwenyewe lakini kwanza kusema utanunua aje na duka zikifungwa na you, know, you are becoming too much you are overworking tuzako sana <laughs> enda urare and why can't you trust god with that kind of trust like a child i told him and this is the confidence that we have that whatsoever we ask in his will he hears us so he had me na ninaenda ninarara haijasema he will do it he, the bible says he had you and now that he had you why are you not trusting him that he cannot let things go bad because he had you and he know he, i mean he knows he knows that you need it na kwa hivyo hata wakati unakasirikia una, una watu hapa unasema huu mtu ameboyaka hashiki tafadhali i think unatukana image ya Mungu ukisikia tumeumbwa in the image of god please believe it we are completely like god especially men men are the glory of god the bible says wana wana ume unakuja unamwambia niliona guo nikipita pale kwa kio na inauzwa pesa fulani nataka unilete na because hata unajaribu kumuita tu majina tuzuri babe na muita hane sweet heart badala ya hiyo anakuja na ngombe kadogo kasau paka unamuuliza atireli ni nini ni nini huku shika na tena kasau ka radio beza nyingi kokira brauthi anakuja naye unajua hata hana guo na hana haja na mavasi na kwa bi aka baibani yaka tutakuwa tunakunywa masiwa nasikia kuodoka saa hiyo hiyo because how shiki alafu unaweza kusema hadanyitaka ukiangalia Mungu vizuri anakaa hivyo unaona gai danyitaka kuna haja ni kudaganya watu wale walikuwa karibu na Yesu walikuwasika sana maana Yesu alikuwa mkokoa hatari juu ya hatari ndio mnaanguka muingie na amerara merikebu inapigwa na mawimbi inapigwa na mawimbi mkienda kumwangalia mkifikiria ati anawaobea ati mkuti akisema they will not sink they will not sink in the name of unakuta ndio wakamuuliza guy mwalimu wakamwalimu don't you care that we perish kwani haujali tukikufa na alipoamka hata hana haraka yule yule wapi imani imani yenu iko ndio wanamuuliza ni imani hatuna ama ni wewe ulilala Kwa nini unajifanya sisi ndio tumekosa wewe ulikuwa umerara sisi at least we are trying our best. Tuko tunajaribu kuchota maji tukitupa kwa bahari. Wewe ni kio kuwekaga. <laughs> Very foolish god. <laughs> Vita dio hii watu wamejipanga, wameweka vifaru zimewaangalia. Rafu anasema the ten choir. I think I oh Jesus. I think hata watu wengine walikuwa wanasema ni mwana ana fuse yoweka. Nataka kuroni kwa dada kuleta kiradha akidhurai. Na vya madhara. Tu tumekutwa, tumekutwa na jeshi na, na wao wako na zana za vita. Bwana anasema kwaya iigie bere na tarupenda. Paka anasema mimi mwamu ila wakati fest music festival. <laughs> Mumemweleza si music festival ni vita mukuki kirea hukua ukuvi. <laughs> Mumemweleza. Kwa sababu vile anaongea na vile na eneo ile muko hamupatani. Hamupatani. <laughs> Mungu kufuata Mungu ni kusimama mbele ya bahari na anasema go forward. Dio bali geuko akamwambia tafadhali Musa sisi tunaelewa na Mungu wako mtie sile tu timoi ni tui mlikuwa mnataka kutua na hatuna sile na kukufa bora tu tuzikwe mahali kuna eleweka mtie watu dhike ha please ogwe tu hivyo tu atusiogee sana <laughs> maana kulingana na wao hii ni mtego ya kuuliwa a very foolish god unasimama bere ya bali anasema go forward ah uh, did you tell him we don't have forward because we have lake deep sea ocean <laughs> na bado nataka kutembea na Mungu kwa kumuelewa save yourself from some headaches please tell you about relax no wonder bibi nasema ya kwamba he who stays his mind on god will have perfect peace just rest in his ability to deliver and forget it shauri yako najua sisi tunakwambia wana tumekwaswa tukajaribu kumtukana tukafikiria naumia badala ya kuumia na kupenda saidi <laughs> i love you poka na binashika unanipenda mimi nilikuwa nasema kwa wacha nione atusidaganya ne 
nani yako kwa season ya kudeal na a foolish god yani kwa umatozio ni akira najua mwezi taka kusema hivi lakini Mungu kimuita foolish akasiriki maana najua kile unaita foolish it is his wisdom his wisdom doesn't look like wisdom to man it looks like foolishness then our wisdom to god looks like foolishness wakati tunamwambia at age that 5 ni jenga mansha then from there i'll be going to dubai and coming back mungu anataka Okay, I don't know sorry. At the villa sasa unajua miradi. Mungu anaenda ki. Maana akiangalia kitu amepanga kuhusu wewe, kuna siku kutamtukana mchana peupe. Mageu kutikia. Itakuita itakufanya mpaka ujui uko wapi. Kuna pastor mmoja alibaksaidi kwa sababu alikuwa ametora maisha yake kwa kitabu vizuri. Unajua bibi anasema tuwe na imani. Akachora akasema by the age of 28 nikuwe na PhD. Mhm. Adhi Mungu anaonaka ukiandika. Anaanza kupiga mbele. <laughs> Maana hizi toshia kwa hiyo mipango. <laughs> Labda uifanye bila yeye. <laughs> lakini yeye akiingia ataharibu kila kitu. <laughs> Afu vuta mpango yake nyani upusi. Afu akaandika nitakuwa na fly Marekani ni narudi. Let's say naishi Kenya six months then I preach in America six months. <sighs> Alipoangalia karatasi yake na maisha alikatafuna kwa sababu hakuna kitu kinaendeshana <laughs> Wakati alikuwa nadhani atatakuwa naishi Marekani atanaleta atanaleta watoto kutoka ngambo wasalimie shosho wakiongea hang hang badala ya hivyo wanafuta baki vile hujai kuona <laughs> wanafuta baki wanatoa moshi kama jimu ni Hapo <laughs> anasema ni niamini believe me na sababu unakuta watu wanapenda uganga kuliko mambo ya Mungu. Maana uganga ina make sense. Uganga uki, ukinikosea nienda niambia muganga huyu amenibia kuku. Tunakufunga mkojo. Mara moja hukojoi tena. And it makes sense. Na utakojoa ukirudisha kuku. Very well. Kwa Mungu ukienda na kuambia huyu amekutesha mupende umweke maka hapa. Eh, kuna mzee maigana. Mweke makaa gapi? <laughs> kwa sababu it looks like foolishness. Mudu wa gothe tumuigirele makara. <laughs> hey. Waombe wana ukudhi. Eh. Madha maigana. <laughs> kwa sababu you, you already know you don't want to do that. Kuna mtu wa mekwaswa na upusi ya mungu. <laughs> Ukiona na kwaswa na upusi ya mungu kwa kwa barabara hile inafaa. Umeokoka. <laughs> wale hawakwaswi hawa na Mungu wanajua kujitavutia misaada na jia za kando na hao ndio watoto haramu a true child of god will sometimes stumble over god don't like the ways treating me then that means you are a true son those are little fights between a child and a, and a parent they are good hey wacha ni maliza hiyo mifano na na jona unajua jona hakujua Mungu aliambiwa na Mungu aende ni never yambia itakufa hey i think hata alivaa guo mrefu na akaachilia devil kwa one month ndio akae nabii. <coughs> Anazivuruta hivi akiwa amesimama kenganga. <laughs> Naambia watu, "Asema bwana, siku tatu mtakufa." Alienda akatabiri akamaliza akaenda akarara. After one week ndio anasikia hii, "Dirigue tebu." Hakuna mtu anapiga duru. Maana alikuwa anafikiria ni never go up, up in flames like Sodom or, or something. Ndio bwana alikuja akamwambia, "Mimi si kuwaua." <laughs> Yakamuna si ni wewe ulinituma. Eh. Jona alisema na nikio, unaona? Alimwambia na nikio ni yako ile tenu tigana nani. Ni kama ni kunmekueleza, uachane na mimi ni yote talishishi. Unaona leo? Niki kuwi, mimi nakuelewa. Najua, alimwambia na ikuwi, uihuleza. Daitari hakiri. <laughs> Umejaa huuma yenye haina information. Unawezaje samea watu wenye nakuudhi kila siku? Alafu ni Jona, ende wapia watakufa tukana ndo mlegu sikai nituma tena. Maana hakuna hakuna kitu baya kama kuambia watu Bwana azema ikatai kutokea utajificha wapi Hata <laughs> watoto wanakuambia eh hey, asema Bwana <laughs> Maana waliona ile kitu ulisema hakuna kitu ilitokea <laughs> Kudiri na Mungu kama huyu ni kumu <laughs> na hapo anamuuliza kwamba jeona wewe mwenyewe umekuwa hapa na kamuti kakakupea kivuli kakakufa ukaumia na si wewe umekaumba unatakaje ni huyo watu 120000 na ngombe zao na watoto na wamelia wakaniambia ni wasamehe unaye nyona nyita 
Ndiyo sasa unaanza kuona the difference between the wisdom of man and the wisdom of God. They are very different. God thinks this way. Jonah thinks this way. Jonah is so much undermined. It has come to pass. It, it must come to pass. Na Mungu anasema in my wisdom if this comes to pass it will corrupt my nature. Because men told me forgive me and I refused. Then how can I be God? Kwa hivyo kujaribu kuelewa Mungu ni kujiumiza tu. Ni kafaa gwele. Unajiumiza. Tafadhali muamini. Mambo ya kumuelewa wachana naye. Bibi nasema Roho Mtakatifu hata dia anajua the mind of God and he prays for us in the perfect will of God. Hajasema wewe wewe you cannot know the perfect will of God. It is the Holy Ghost who knows the perfect will of God. That's why it's very important to pray in other tongues. Because when you pray in other tongues, you pray the correct thing, not what you desire. Not only what is going to be right about you. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Wow. God may come to you looking weak. But don't be fooled. There is so much power in that weak thing. So much power in that weak thing. Na sasa, oh, let me let, let me show you. That's how God anaku shield from danger and from fake friends. From people who are not genuine. He comes in weakness so that not everybody will receive him. Apokerewe na wale tu. They are apo- oh. That's in the Bible said to us who are being called. That word called means we are the kind that was predetermined. Kwa there is this special people of God that salvation had been predetermined over them. Na diyo wakua distinguished from those others. Diyo wakovu isikuwa ya every Tom, Dick and Harry. Ikuwa ya watu wale mungu alitaka kukua kutoka muanzo kiuvunuo. Razima ikuja imefichwa diyo julikane tu na mwenye kona bagu ya mungu. Razima ifichwa diyo ikai weakness ipokerewe na yule tuwa na amini mungu. Maana kama wakovu ingekuwa ni kiyoko kareo kesho na endesha mazides. Ha! Hata murogi uge muona kwa raini. Hei, tutatekiri ya gatorome. Lamp of God. Tahaju imagina yote ya mungu Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Karidei. Haududha. Kwa sababu wa mesikia hapa pere kuna mazides. Then that would not be real. God must come in weakness. Diyo apokerewe tu na wale ameamua. Diyo tu watamujua. Hata huwa naambia vijana ya kwamba usitake usitake sana kubarikiwa mapema you might marry the wrong wife. And the same case, ukiona Mungu anakupeleka process, it is very safe for you. Na mtu anajuaga the right person wakati hauna kitu. Wakati mtu anakuona na anaku understand na hauna mafuguo ya gari. Lakini mafuguo ya gari ni nani haitaleta? Hata ukimwambia aokoke, hata aokoka one week. Kwa sababu ya hii. Nasikia sema amen glory. Na unajua tu, watu wengi tumekulia kwa kanisa tunajua misemo ya kanisa. Pastor akihubiri shua shua. Mm. Ani safi. <laughs> Nifuguo. <laughs> Kama mimi najua huu mke nilipewa na Mungu maana anye dia na kafura na kage nilikuwa na kasura tangine ka green. Na kanikuwa kameza kutoka mausi. Uh, hauwezi ukapenda mtu bila ufunuo na jia hiyo. Hauwezi. <laughs> you can't na dio sababu watu wengi hata wasichana huwa wana miss their divine moments maana wanaangaliaga nje hawajui the little things of god are hidden maana kizi expose zitachukuliwa na the wrong hand lazima azifiche kanisa kama hili lazima ipewe muda i grow pole pole dio pastor apewe muda mungu alivilu mioyo ya watu lakini mkifanya kanisa leo na kesho kesho iko na 1000 people you will pick the wrong people and make them leaders and then they will bring you down because everybody will support a church that has a thousand members. But it is very rare. Ukutani na mtu anajipiga moyo. Kusama pasta tosimama na wewe. Na muko watu watatu. The next day, watu watatu. After one year, mumeogeseka muko five. Na wabili ni anti yako na anku. Ukiona mtu anakuama hapo. These were called by God. They were brought to this vision by revelation. So ukiona mungu anakuja in weakness. Usikibie. Mungu anapenda hivyo. It's a game he like playing with men. So that his will will be done. Na ongea na tuicha na tulia sahika boyfriend kare ukonae. Ni kawik. Don't be fooled. Kama kakona maono. Na kanapenda mungu wa biguni. Tafadhali kuwama. Kuwama hapa. How have you cha hau? Hey. Kawake thaka. Si unaona all panaruth. Wameretwa kwa Naomi. One is about to hit their destiny. Another one will lose it. And how does God hide it? Naomi is weak, she is poor 
na hata amepita umri ya kupata watoto hata aliwaeleza mkinifuata sasa mimi muse nitazaza agapi na muolewe na hawa watoto eh orpa akafanya mahesabu yake na human wisdom akaona hela nema mtumie ona ya point hata hakumwambia bid goodbye karudi kwao akajiokoe the moment you want to save your soul you lose it it's when you want to give it to god and lose it to god you gain it ruda limwambia is not about marriage is about me and you something about you that i cannot explain but there is god in you he says your god will be my god your people will be my people kuanzia hapo roho akaacha kuandika kuhusu orpa todo roho da toranaga na ndo manyitaga mura ukure mama karora thutha alisema if you get hold of the prow and then you look behind you you are not fit for the kingdom so he stops talking about orpa he concentrates with ruth maana ameonekana huyu anaelewa huyu aganiwe wasagurito na ni kweli mwisho yakamalizia kiwa great grandmother of jesus kwa kufuata mwanamke bila kitu <laughs> but with revelation lakini tumefurisha watoto wetu kutumia akili na tumeleta mpaka hiyo mahubiri stupid kwa kanisa usiolewe na mwanaume bila pesa wewe zako ziko wapi <laughs> don't waste our time <laughs> why is it we are the only one that should have money kwani pesa imechorwa mimi imechorwa hii nchi hata wenda uchukue yako tukutane <laughs> and don't believe such stupid things the man must have money the man must have this the man must 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 angeshika hiyo ijiri hatunga kuwa pamoja i didn't have it nilikuwa naishi kwa wenyewe to get it but I, i want to believe she had a revelation she must have seen something beyond human asisemi muorebe na kuwa maskini ehe kitu ninachosema ni dauga atiriri kiri hai ivi just have the spiritual understanding don't just look at the natural maana kazi mtu anaweza poteza kazi mtu anaweza kuwa na gari na ikaisha but kama umeona vitu kama vision ndani ya hii mtu umeona yani maono yake bere ni clear cut this man is a potential success this one that woman usimutupe kwa sababu umepanda class muangalie vitu zile muhimu zile pesa iwezi kununua tunaelewana pesa ni very temporal pesa hata ukiwa nayo hapa saa hii kesho we are not sure itakuweko i need me arise and imagine mpaka kuna impasse buying that's how stupid money is impasse buying <laughs> you, you can buy something you didn't even plan to buy and then you put all of your understanding in money no no you must be a man who is beyond the natural na mungu akikuja in weakness asikukwase usikuwe na bad attitude kwake oh watu wengi wamekataa mungu kwa sababu walikuja akiwa weak hawakumjua juzi nilikuwa nasikiza mtu amekuwa na encounter na Yesu juzi i didn't have listening to, uh, to such men a man of god had begun following i really love him kevin zadai alisema ya kwamba alienda kupea homeless people chakula just like you say let me get some money from my account and feed the homeless in america there are so many na wanakaa kwa street wengine and bridge na whatever akaenda kuwapea akawakusanya pamoja akaanza kuwapea chakula then his eyes fell on one of them amevaa matabara kama hawa lakini something about his eyes he had blue eyes he can be like your eyes akamfanya hivi alafu alikuja akamgonga hapa akamwambia kwa sikio i'm not one of them i'm an angel he says his life completely changed akifuta kazi alikuwa na pesa mpaka ya kukopesha wengine you can't meet an angel and remain the same he fed an angel na alikuwa na kula hiyo chakula na pea hawa but but god came in weakness so that he will not be with everybody he will be with those that be the revelation <laughs> maana vitu ya mungu imetengewa wale wanatembea kwa neno si ya every tom dick and harry hapana na ikiachiliwa iki hivyo itachukuliwa mpaka na the wrong people mungu lazima ifiche ijulikane tu na mtu wako na jicho la uvunuo na akatuambia katika waebrania msiache kutenda mema kwa sababu kwa kufanya hivyo wengi wamekaribisha malaika bila kujua that's the word of god so this man of god was just doing the word and he found himself in encounter with an angel na vitu alimwambia his ministry right now is going in nawaka kama moto ya kichaka i'm telling you because god comes in weakness lakini hamumjui acha ni wakubushe mnakumbuka john the baptist wakati alianza kuhubiri aliambia watu mimi maana walitishika na john the baptist jinsi ambavyo anaongea mambo ya mungu ja siri aliyo nao anafanyia nyikani na watu wote wanatoka town wanakuja kumsikiza kwa nyika akawaambia hii inawatisha yes but this very small another one is coming after me who is greater than me even his shoes sijaruhusiwa kuzifugua 
Wakasema hey then he must be a very great man. Kama kuna mtu mkubwa kuliko John. That man must be very wonderful. Akawambia I want to shock you. He stands among you but you don't know him. Ata huyo mkubwa hivyo ninaongea kumuuzu. Ako hapa katikati yenu. Na hamu mujui. Mana watu wanadhani mungu wakikuja utasikia nyuere kisimama. Ata lafu utasikia. Ata kathiki dhiga kanini. Lafu za hey, hey, okay. hey, okay. hey, He can be among you and you don't know him. That's how weak God can get. He can be in a man who doesn't look like God. I'm talking about an anointed prophet like Elijah stepping into your house. Sasa nimeanza kuongea mambo ya partnership. God stepping into your house in a man called Elijah. Alafu hajakuja kufanya miujiza, amekuja kuitisha mkata wa mtoto. And it is a test. In that weakness there is the power of God. If you just release that which you have, the, the, the flower and the oil will never go down. But how do you get to know that minus revelation? Imagine somebody coming from nowhere alafu akwambie kuna kiagasi, uh, nipikie hii mkate. Maana kulikana na mimi, nabia na pasu kuja na power. You know, our guze don't die in the name of Jesus. Ah, anakuja kusema I'm I'm hungry, nataka kukura hii. Ah, uh, hiyo mafuta kidogo nipikie mkate. Unamwambia ni ya mtoto ya kesho ya kubeba shule. Eh, hey, beruga beruga. <laughs> Usio ni gaika ni mukora. Huyo <laughs> anakaa Mungu ama mkora? Who will know that this is God? Who? Naongea kuhusu Elisha, amebeba Mungu mkubwa anaweza pea watu watoto. Lakini hana nyumba. Anapita kwa hiyo neighborhood miaka mingi and nobody even takes notice. And the Bible says and the woman of Shunammite perceived that word. Oof. Perceived that this is a holy man of God. That perceiving is revelation. She got to know it by the spirit. This is not a normal man. Akamkaribisha. Na hata ukitaka kujua Mungu wa kweli, uh, and this is where attitude comes in. Mungu wa kweli hana tamaa ya vitu yako. Elisha alipoambia hivyo alimwambia usijisubue. Maana Mungu kaida ligagereria do. Usijisubue. It is upon you to know no. Nitashika huyu mpaka nibariki. Kama mbe takujengea kanyumba ukaage hapa na ukikuja huku unakula chakula. Baada ya kukaa muda mrefu, aliuliza wapi yule mama? Akauza bwana anajisubua hivyo kwa ajili yetu. What do you want from the Lord? Now now God, the power in the weakness has begun to talk. Akasema mtoto die tu hana akamwambia mwakani majira kama haya utakuwa na mtoto. Angalia si, not prophecy fast. Weakness. Na sasa kanisa la leo linakosa matokeo kwa sababu they want the power fast. Hapa nikianza kutabiri hakuna mtu hata toa. Tayo kishika kila mtu namwambia next week. Uh, mungu atakubariki na roli. <laughs> Unaenda kwa hiyo mwingine naona tractor. <laughs> hey. Watu watafagia mpaka account. Maana they, they no longer understand a weak God. They want power. Now what they don't know, little power of God comes hidden weakness. And it takes revelation to tap into it. Uenda ikawa hata hii wiki umepita Mungu mahali akiwa wiki. Ukakuja kumutafuta kwa hii hema. <laughs> Edo lei theroma. Ukakuja kutafuta mungu kwa hii hema imejaa joto. Nunaalena agaihado hega hata lena urugari na. <laughs> Lakini kwa sababu haku wanazuti ya braka kama pastor Robert. Ukampita. Ukakuja kusikiza pastor Robert. Odiruga dili na agai. Sisemi sina mungu. Na jaribu tuku kuonyesha. Reality, practicals. I want to draw this image in your mind. That God will come in weakness. This is what God says. I come in weakness. And if you don't let my weakness become a stumbling block, you embrace it. You love it. You can see the power. You will see the power. God must be caged in weakness. Otherwise, akikuja akiwa power, this world will sublimate. Imagine kama Yesu wange kuwa dani ya mwiri. Everything would melt before him. Alitana maramoja tu, razaru wakatoka. Imagine mutu kama hiyo. Imagine, ya gege hege sile. Na kama Yesu ageji confusa kosa kutaja jina Lazarus. Na kuambia mpaka akina Abraham wato wangea muka. <laughs> Dio sabu wakasema Lazarus specifically. Come forth. Kama angesema tu rise from the dead. Aya medusera. <laughs> wato unge waona wakikuja. Tuetu wo. <laughs> tu, mana, this, this man was power packaged in a body. Shut up. He was the fullness of God in bodily form. That's why many times he didn't pray. 
He just said be healed. This was power talking. But God must manage power. Kwa sababu akiachilia who will handle it? God is a consuming fire. He cannot throw himself to you at once. He must unfold bit by bit. Dio mwerebe. Yesu alisema mimi niko na uwezo ya kuitisha legions of angels to back me here. But I don't want to do that now. Power packaged. Power harnessed. Jesus abo katwambia have the same attitude. Jesus was God 100%. He didn't count it robbery to be equal with God, but he humbled himself. Because power is in humility. Don't go showing power. Make sure there are good enough reasons for you to manifest power. Don't use power the wrong way. Don't use power to tease a mke wako. Mimi nimeitwa na Mungu niko na mafuka na mafuta piga shati pasi. That's stupid now. Mwanza kutumia power vibaya. You should look like a normal human being, but you know that you have a lot of power on the inside of you. That's the spirit of Jesus. Nataka niwaulize tena. Yesu akikuja Mungu akikuja ndani ya mtu utamjua wewe kweli? mtamujua akikuja akikana bi yako na jaa utajua dia amebeba muujiza yawe kupata mtoto jina bwana libarikiwe wacha nikusomea mstari moja uh, can we read uh, oh. Galatians chapter 4 verse 13 Galatians chapter 4 Hey gaido ni adate kugalia do Mungu anapenda kujaribu watu maana Mungu ako na wivu na vitu yake Hataki ziende na every any casual person they are specified because heaven makes no mistakes Galatians 4:13 Inasema, on the contrary, ni Paulo naambia wakaratia, on the contrary, you know that it was on account of a bodily ailment that I remained and preached the gospel to you the first time. Anasema wakati nikuja kwenye ukwanza, siku letu wanaguvu, nilikuja kwa sababu nilikuwa mugonjwa. Maybe ya likuwa mugonjwa, aka ikabidi, asitebe sana, aka e, 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 kwa wakaratia, awa hubirie. Imagine, aposto na kubirie uponyaji na ya ni mugonjwa. Who got your God? Gaya tete kugeria dogo niki. Kwa ni asiria tete mtu healthy, mana na ongea health. Now he speaks health and he is sick himself. It is because it was because of a bodily ailment that I preached the gospel to you first. Now look at it, verse fourteen. And yet, although my physical condition was such a trial to you, <laughs> kwa hivyo this physical condition in Paul was a test to the Galatians, so that only those that God wants are the ones that are going to receive what this vessel carries. Akasema hii ugonjwa ilikuwa ni jaribu kwenu. Kwa hivyo Mungu anaweza kuja amejificha ndani ya mtu, mtu akona matatizo, mtu akona limitations zake, mtu akona na, na vitu zinamshubua, zenye mpaka wewe zikusubui. Na yet God is in that man. And it was because of a physical ailment and this physical ailment was a trial to you. You did not regard it to the contempt. Oh. Hata mlipona Mungu ndani ya chombo dhaifu, hamuki kichukua na madharau. Na hapo ndio attitude inakujia. People stumble over God and they grow a bad attitude because he came looking weak. Then they miss what would have happened. Mutu wana hubiri ijiri. Sita waisa hau. Nirienda kwa kanisa aka hubiri ijiri. Na kuambia, paka unamuangali unawana kama ni wampikuni. Vida na ya maya mungu ikoju yake. Unalia mpaka unasimama unafanya hivi. Kusabi ya kusikia goosebumps za anointing. Akimaliza anawambia wadugu watu jalipa hii horo paka unazindua goosebump is yoti kire hakire <laughs> sizo goosebumps ilipe horo <laughs> ni kumanisha sasa umekwaswa na udhaifu ya chombo kilichopeba mungu then you cannot touch the power hii ni ya ina ya mahubiri nigeataka ushike na ufudisha mutu na, uf, na haswa ufudisha watu wale wanakuhusu ufudisha watoto wako ufudisha bibi yako as for me in my house we shall serve the Lord Kwa hiyo ibada alisema, hivyo alisema ya kwamba hana pesa ya kulipa hall, 
Alafu Bwana amemwambia ataguza watu specific kutoa 1000. I gave 7. Then God I knew this. Most people don't. They they want God as long as God looks like power. Mungu akijaribu kusema I'm weak, I don't have, I'm needy. Hai? Anaweza kujiuliza Mungu gani hii? God should not track. Yes, because we are taught by the world. If you know the spirit you will know that there is something called the weakness of God. But don't be fooled. That weakness is more powerful than man's strength. If you will come that weakness and embrace it and love it. Preach in South Africa. Akakuta watu wamebarikiwa na JSO ya kawaida. Mtu aliacha kazi. Kazi yake ni kutumana. Yeye anashitaka kwa michezo ya buduki. Na hiyo michezo nitacheza siku moja kwa jina la Bwana. Kulenga tuchupa. Akiwa amefunga jicho moja na kikitu Huli dono de higa kai gai gene toga ya tora ga muyo ndigo tora nyona na meli no akafunga maana watu wanafungua ga bill dio waone pesa iko wapi sasa ukiwa na pesa funga moja you, you can still survive so akafunga moja alafu anagonga tuchupa na, na vinyasa na wakona ranch na umbo na farasi hapa South Africa dia kawambia you people you so blessed maana alikuwa anaona kama anaona maziga ubwe And I was like, no man of God you can write on this one. Ana kalia farasi ya white. Hajai kalia kwa maisha yake. Kamwambia how do how do you feel? Afu anagojea waseme sasa tuko nataka tunaenda kazi. Wanamwambia no 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 no. They are managers. They are working. Wao waliacha kufanya kazi. Yali wauliza why should God bless a human being like this? How go officially wambia I have never met a human being blessed like this. Yo wali muuliza umetoka Kenya you said you come from Kenya yeah akamuuliza you yeah we do yeah i do i do no kasema when he was starting to preach as a young man like this he came to south africa the lord told me to stand with that young man he told him even to today i still send money i'm still a partner he was he don't stumble over the fact he was starting in the ministry very slim He looks somehow he didn't even he couldn't even afford a, a, a suit ni wale wanafaa match na unakibia kikoba kutavuta rongi ifanane na hii zinafanana kala lakini material ni tofauti unaona koti ni material ni asuka rongi ni ulen mpaka mtu anashangaa hii ni kiumbe ina gani na hicho kiumbe kimejaa Mungu akasema alipohubiri wakaona vile Mungu anamtumia vile alivyo na ufahamu wa neno la Bwana vile anatabiri mambo inatokea Bwana akasema ndani yake I'll stand with these young men The rest is history. That's a dio amebaki ni. Ah, uh, nyinyi ninge wa advice higurai mele. Fugueni tu macho bili. Macho moja kufunga ni ya yule ameona Mungu in weakness akapati na naye. God will show you wonders. Na hapo dio sasa attitude inaingiliaga. How musaidi you in weak? Wewe unajua hii weakness was a trial to me. Nijaribu nataka kulipita ukiripita you get into the realm of power because in God's weakness there is so much power stronger than man's strength stronger than man's strength and yet although my physical condition was such a trial to you you did not regard it with the contempt attitude or scorn and loathe and reject me unaona hamuku jaribiwa kunikata kwa sababu nilikuja nikiwa mgonjwa ugonjwa yangu mulipita hiyo jaribu kumaanisha Mungu anaweza taka kubadilisha muji, kubadilisha maisha ya watu, lakini akuja amejificha ndani ya chombo kigonjwa. Chombo hakina pesa. Paka unamuuliza mudo wa gai. Si wishi wa wali akota ageri ya liwe wirore, eh? Wiyarilie. Maana wahubiri wanaambiaga watu God will move in your life. Paka unasema na a move kwa. Because you are not taught. Power does not flow back. It will cause accidents. Hata hii ya stima ikianza kurudi huku itachoma sisi. Power must always flow forward. So the gift of God does not bless the the carrier. It is for those that are listening. For those that are depending upon that ministry. Hata mimi mwenyewe nikitaka kitu kutoka kwa Bwana, I don't use gift. I believe him and trust him simply again as a human being. It is not for me. Hata upewe healing gift ikifika wakati wako wa kuponya, kuponwa kama uko na ugonjwa, itabidi uamini Mungu kama the rest of us. Can you look at the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 15? Philippians 4:15. I just hope you never forget this. <laughs> Philippians 4:15. Nitaisoma kwa amplified. Philippians 
4.15. Anasema, and you Philippians, ni Paulo nambia wa Philippi, you Philippians, yourselves, well know, listen, that in the early days of the gospel ministry, now Paul here is talking after God has blessed him. He's a big name. But he reminds them when I was starting in the early days of ministry, when I didn't look like God, when everybody was saying this is the man that persecuted the church. Nobody believed in me. They thought, I'm coming. Na ujanja, alafu nikisha ingiliana na wani wawe. Nobody wanted to listen to me. Those days, you Philippians, Jesus. No wonder. Philippian is a friendly letter to a people that are so close to the heart of the apostle. And I want to, I dare you, and I will show me Baruazot as a power. They are all very official. This one is very friendly. Wasabu, the Philippians were so close to his heart because these were men that saw God in his weakness. I don't have a problem with the men seeing God in my glory. I don't have a problem with that. That can be understood. But I will mark you differently when you can be able to see God in my weakness. Amen. Then you are a very special person. Amen. You are different. My eyes will see you different. So that's Paul for you. And as I say, when I left Macedonia, no church, listen, no church assembly entered into partnership with me. Na tukiwambia kuna partnership ministry muna sema tumeunda ati kwa sabi ya kutafuta pesa. Dutho maka ya baibu ya. So ma baibu. But there is no another church assembly that entered into this ministry with me. Then he says, well, uh, entered into partnership with me and opened, listen, 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 and opened up a debit and credit account. He mudu no wafeg you. He opened up a debit and credit account in giving and receiving except you only. God is a little businessman. He will give one the anointing. The other one is a baby. He says there is nothing left in heaven. Wee mwenye naitaji mtoto, sinawe umetoka kwa a family with the substance. Tukirehe substance kuriyo. Na wewe, ebuta muka neno kwa huyo. Very simple. He's a businessman. Na kila mutu wako hapa businessman anajua, ukitoa kapito mara ya kwanza, utaki ukitoa tena. Oh, come on, talk to me. I understand some little bit of business. Ukitoa kapito, hautaki tena kurudi utoa kapito higine. Kapito inapaswa iwe na wezo ya kuchizalisha. Otherwise, that's not business. It's something else. Maybe pesa ya maombolezi. Lakini kama ni business, pesa initial capital should be able to bring more profit and more profit and grow it. It should not decrease. Sasa mungu na alisha toa karamazote ya kareta huku duniani. Watu wale wanataka kupona. Kwa nini wanamusubua kule? <laughs> na hizo karama ziko huku. <laughs> Watu wale hawana watoto hizo karama ziko huku. Let me say this and never forget it. Katika maisha yako ya kuokoka, usikawai kuwa okay. Ukiishi maisha Bila one certain specific ministry You are connected financially Usikawai penda maisha kama hiyo Oh, nini mumeshika hapa sikuwa Sasa wacha nirudie hiyo hapa Kwa maisha yako yote <laughs> Jina vona libarikiwe Usikawai penda kuishi kama mukristo Bila mahali kuna ministry ya mungu Na musianza kunyeleza mambo ya false prophet Niwe ulienda kuwa osisi isi <laughs> Na false prophet awata kuisha hata kesho watakuwa But you have the freedom to go to the right prophets But if you, you spot a true prophet Please connect there And listen to me not just by prayer Financially Open a debit and credit account With that ministry Amen. You'll never regret <laughs> And where can we expect to kutoa <laughs> and Very straight That's what he's saying Where can Na ukisha where can it's an account you can go and knock and write a check and withdraw money. And withdraw hearing. And withdraw whatever it is that you are. you buying? No, you are not buying. You just aligned yourself with what was already made available for you. That's what obedience does. It, 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 it takes you on the path where you are going to correct with the goodness only. But God cannot be saying, do this. Me, I know that all things were done on Calvary. Na I am going to do this. I am going to do Pita hapa. Na wewe unapita kule kwa sababu ya Kaifari. Kaifari si ya rebellion. <laughs> Kaifari ni ya mtu ambaye anataka kutebea na obedience. Na mtu huyo hata wai regret. Na hata wai juta. I dare you today open a debit and credit account with God. If, if Kaifu in a center is, is not that ministry, no problem. Go to another ministry that you believe in. But please do the same thing. Do the same thing. Na diosabu ni kafikiria Kuna hajagani tuambia watu wengine waende nyubani. Atetubaki na kudidogo hapa tukiwaereza. 
ni kama hii mambo ni yao peke yao this is for every born again uh, uh, christian you should get it and understand it and do it for the rest of your life it's not even about a sermon a prayer impartation service no, no, no. this should be the lifestyle of the believer na bwana huwa mnafunga macho kwani nimesiona bible najua mimi kuna vitu huwa ninaangalia na tetemeka ati mwanamke hana mtoto na ni his story mrefu maana mpaka mzee ni bwana yake ni mzee mimi waliona wakiwa vijana wamekosa watoto wakazae kabila one gift of god inalala huko inakula chakula kwa miezi kadhaa wanamwekea kataa naona na mafuta taa yao alafu wakiwa hapo wameboeka nauliza na huyu bwana buki anaweza taka ready mwitigira igai your god is so big alafu hiyo history yote anaifuta kwa declaration mwakani majira kama haya lakini bwana haikuanza hivyo na Elisha walikuwa wamekutana huyu mwanamke miaka mingi angamwambia mwakani majira kama haya lakini kuna vitu nyinyi mnataka lakini mkoije ya zile circumstances that warrant that so it can't happen Jacob alitaka kubariki watoto wake na kubuka not, not Jacob sorry Isaac anataka kubariki Jacob na Isu na hata kama Jacob amebarikiwa kutoka kwa tumbo oh, this, this is so huge you must get it when god blesses you a human being on earth that is ordained of god must pronounce it Amen. it is not enough for god to say i bless you and so no no who pronounce that over your life because that which is in heaven through a man must be done on earth Amen. don't confuse yourself now he says it is time to bless jacob yet we know jacob was blessed from the womb why another blessing it is not another blessing he's pronouncing the same blessing but he is a principality of god he is the carrier of the covenant they are going to be the transfer of graces the transfer of contracts from now the generation of isaac to the generation of jacob and that must happen through a man lakini akawaambia nendeni mkanitafutie game mkuja munipikie supu ni kule niwatabirie let me tell you the danger ya kukana huduma na muhubiri mwenye hakuna kitu kinatoka kwako kumsaidia kufanya huduma you are missing a lot you are missing a lot warrant that thing to happen by applying simple principles that are in the bible please do it i'll never forget it mara yangu ya kwanza kupanda dege my wife is here she's a witness mimi nimepanda dege nikiwa nimeshaoa ni bishop alihubiri mambo ya kutoa akahubiri akahubiri nikasikia kabisa haya huo mtu ni nialera shida ni kwamba sikuwa na pesa lakini nilikuwa na laptop nilikuwa nimeachiwa na mtu akienda ngambo rafiki yangu na nilikuwa naipenda ama gadget men so gadget anything gadget laptop ka <laughs> gadget <laughs> and and i think that just sounds like man men and toys mnanielewa nilipoka hivi nilijiuliza ni mimi sasa nina pesa ni nini naweza toa mwana mshahara wangu wakati huo ilikuwa dogo sana ilikuwa inagojewa na vitu tumeshachukua kwa duka tulipe na ukikura yule mtaonana so I, i knew that very well nikasema but, but i can give outside money so nikafikiria kwa nyumba nikafikia nikasema no laptop nilisimamia kwa laptop nikasema ni hiyo na nitaileta kesho nilipoileta uh, actually the man of god told me wacha tu assume nimeichukua <laughs> you know you can be broke mpaka you smell <laughs> you smell poverty paka mtu anakuhurumia anakwambia acha tu assume hata akaniambia si unaona Abraham hakutoa Isaka lakini alihesabiwa amemtoa maana moyo wake ilikuwa imekubali eh wacha urudi nayo tumeamua umechukua nikamwambia asa ni dige nyito urera kumitika <laughs> mungu ni mshuhuda alinishika mikono akaniambia kama hauna vieti vya kusafiria enda utafute because you go to nations na kwa mara yako ya kwanza utapanda dege. I don't think God told him. This are oh, libras. Hizi ni vitu unapewa na Mungu kudeclare. You shall declare things that things shall be established. Don't tell me at ni Mungu aliambia Elisha aita mwanamke mpatie mtoto. In fact alikuwa anaulizia. Nini huyu mama hana? Mama akasema mimi I, I, my people are well and I don't need anything. Gazi dia alisema ni mtoto hana. This was not God. No. It was debit and credit. <laughs> It's a spiritual put in motion that cannot be reversed. It, it is time for action it cannot be stopped eh yeah. leturani tena igai tena bonu libarikiwe alipo declare hivyo chance imetokea kwenda sudani nimeingia sudani sina idea ya dege hata sidhani itakuwa watu hao ndio waliniambia wewe ni muhubiri wa kusafiri na dege wewe si mtu ya basi nikamwambia how do you mean 
hauwezi ukatuhubiria siku moja na uende hivyo tumekusikia you are going to be here for a whole week umeoya ndio mahali watu wakatengeneza mikutano saa hiyo <laughs> hakukuwa na idea mikutano wakatengeneza mikutano tukamaliza whole week wakanisafirisha na ndege this is the point wakati nilikuwa kwa ndege nilikuwa nakumbuka ah kwa hivyo mambo mengine tunaona ikiwa bali haiko bali it is just a step of obedience and you are right in it regardless of where you were born Nguvu ya Mungu haijali ati umetoka kwa kwa familia maskini what is that actually I don't even understand that I'm born into Abraham I'm born into the race of Christ Jesus na hii kwa hii familia all we need to do ni kuuliza tukiamuka where is the word of the Lord when once we see it we don't just hear and deceive ourselves we become doers of the same then we shall be blessed in everything that we do that's what the bible says ah kwa kifatara kutida bere theiro na hiyo vitu shetani anapiga na nguvu kwa mwili wa Kristo maana najua this is where the secret is this where power lies here ni hapa ndio sababu na kuna kuonezea kila siku kwa masikio bwana ebewa na shetani tonyo yeye dole mulikeru ona kadi kule ya bigiji tonyo yeye dokuruta bwana ebewa afuko kiona ni kama umeamuka umeanda umerudi kwa jia anakuja tena kwa nini anawaambia mambo itafanyika na haifanyike kwake Ambia muganga ajigange. Shetani kwaje kwa kizweli. Ambia muganga ajigange. Afu anaenda. Nakwambia inakuingia kama mshara. Shup, unaanza ku manifest rebellion against the will of God for your life. Then tell me how do you prosper like that? How? How do you stand in your own way and still go places? Go look for a ministry. Enter into their ministry of partnership and open a debit and credit account with them thank me leta hiyo tazikiti ofienda kupigiwa simu ah tukwenda huko ni nikani ya party nai because you don't know because you are think oh thank you your attitude you think you are helping the church that's why that's why you never see manifestation you think um i'm helping the church have you realized oh and look at it the enemy knows do you know wakati kwa mfano kumetokea watu hawapendi pastor hawaendagi kumustaki kwa intercessor wanaenda kumustaki kwa givers Why is it always like that? Mimi mwaikuta mtu amekalisha give us chini kuambia mtu anataka kukuruta pesa sia nyu huko. Msirudi kukuruta pesa kutoa pesa yenyewe huko. Huyu mtu wa Mungu hata tumuelewa hivi. Hata juzi studio tulikuwa tumekaa pale tukiuliza na asia aliyo huko. Alizaliwa wapi? Tunataka kumenya kwa oke humo bere ke humo. Ke humo ge fata. Ke humo. Ke humo ge fata. Sasa wakisha ongea hivyo ikiwaingia wanaanza ku manifest. Unakuta mtu sasa hashiki simu za pasta. I felt so bad. Ni maana mimi vitu ya kiroho na yerewa na inakuwa kwa nyama zangu. Ninajua mtu akijikaranga. We had a man that was so wonderful when we were at OTC beginning very early days of uh, ministry there. Ah uh, he was a wonderful man. Aliniona kwa TV ni kihubiri Kingdom TV. So wakati alikuja the first thing aliniambia pastor I have about 120,000 here. It, this is tithe money. Na nimekosa mahali ya kuipeleka but nimekusikia kwa Kingdom TV sasa three Sundays and I think you are the real deal. You come be I'm the real deal. You, you, you don't need to even inquire from the Holy Ghost. I, I know I am. Nikazichukua nikambariki. Ah na Mungu akamukibiza kwa maisha na jia hujaiona. The Bible says we are poor but we make men rich. Never confuse weakness for weakness. It is the power of God wrapped up in weakness. So uh, arafu wakati anaendelea hivyo na vitu zinafanyika zinaf akafugua duka ingine. Alikuwa kila wakati ananiambia pastor niombe maana kuna mizigo haijafika. Akabadilisha maongeo na kwa sababu ni mtu ninapenda wakawa na msiba kwao nikaenda ku, kusimama na yeye so tukawa na siku mrefu ya kuongea kuongea akafika mahali akaniambia ningetaka kujua mahesabu ya kanisa nikamwambia utapewa kama unataka mahesabu ya kanisa you can see so and so atakuelezea na hakuenda kumaanisha hii swali kuna roho iko hapa nyuma si swali kweli ni swali na sukumu na another spirit nikasikia mtaja kitu kingine all of a sudden nikamuuliza who have you been seeing umekuwa ukiongea na nani akanitajia ah kwa sababu ya kuongea na yeye he is now imbibing a different spirit he's changing attitude now he feels he's a sponsor to the church sponsor sponsor wako kule na sri queen we don't raise sponsors here we raise worshipers we raise people who tell god this is not even enough but if you could father accept it That's the attitude that commands results. Amen. Believe it or not, right there I stopped taking his money. Just to teach him a lesson. We are not here to collect offering. 
And I don't care whether you give or you don't give. You as an individual. God will always raise another one. That's the way it is. And that's why anybody who is called of God, they don't fight about such things. I don't care what kind of a giver you are. I cannot follow you to your home. At the today, oh, Never, not once, have I ever done that in my life. And I'm not looking forward to do that. Why? I don't raise givers. I raise receivers. And who is a receiver? A worshiper. Somebody who always knows. There's nothing I can give to God to match the power in this weakness. How do you fail with that kind of an attitude? Go read in the book of Psalm chapter 50. If I were hungry, would I tell you? Then why appear before me with offerings as if you are feeding a hungry God? They come with a hunger program. Yeah. Malnutrition. That in a fit man. Just because God looks weak, don't think he's malnutrition. So I can't even tell you. I can say, if I were hungry, I would not even tell you. A thousand keton, a thousand he belongs to me. I guess all I want from you is the sacrifice of thanksgiving that honors me. Uh, honor, 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 attitude, attitude. Nilikuwa naambia watu hapa jana nikimalizia. Kuna mtumishi mtu moja wa Bwana mwana mke alikuwa kahaba kabra okoke. Alafu wakati ameokoka miezi kadhaa ana struggle na kila aina ya addiction. Maana ukiishi maisha kama ile Definitely you are going to struggle with a lot. Sexual addictions, bondages, masturbation, whatever. Ameokoka na najua kome wake ameokoka. But things are not right. Siku moja ameamuka kuomba, akasikia sauti ya buwana for the first time. Haka muuliza, kwa nini bere yangu unapia na pajama? Na ukienda kwa wanaume uliku unajua kujidebesha? Haka muambia, I want you here every day morning 5 a.m. And I want you dressed up. You are meeting the CEO of the universe. Come like you know that. Now what we're going to say, God is a, a father. He's a father, but he's also a high profile. Ameanza kuwa muka kila siku, akiwa mepiga mpaka musuwa kia mepaka lipstick, amechanua nyewele, kuomba. Mahoya. 2020, kwa ni nusia muka maombi hivyo? As if you are going to God's office every morning. Why is not God real to you? Akamuka if you're two years behind her, no masturbation, no nothing, sexual bondage is broken without prayer, without having to pray about it, just immersing herself in the glory. When you meet God, see him as greater than you. See him like you are Lord and you are the servant. See him like the father and you are the son. But never the opposite. Never donate to God. Never sponsor God. He will not accept it. He won't. Oh, don't remind me of Uza. Uza aliona saduku ya mungu ikianguka kafikiria, ato mungu ni weak. Even a falling God can strike you dead. Shut up. Aliena kushika saduku bwana kamuambia, we uranyi taitha aduku wetau. Na kwa kumugonga hivyo, the Bible says he died. Yani a falling God killed a man. Why? In his weakness, he's still stronger than your strength. He can kill when he's falling. He does not need your hand of help. Never. Why did he kill him? He said, because you are not ordained to catch the ark. Even when I'm weak, I'm a proud God. I, I don't come asking for donation. Just because I have not paid the whole, that doesn't mean donate to me. No. I still observe protocol. Even when I need. That tells you how God thinks. It tells you how he thinks. Because I, I would assume, hey, I think ata ukijana alishangaa vile aligongwa kwa sababu alikuwa anataka kushikilia saduku ya Mungu isiaguke. Lakini yeye si nabi, asori yeye si kuhani. Na hajateuliwa kuishika. In other words, even when I need something from you, I still come in dignity. And you must always know that. Maana chochote utatoa kwako upatia Mungu a sense. There's no honor. He will not accept it. For God to accept an offering from me in a tower privilege. Wadugu na wadada ni napomalizia. Wewe ungedhani yesu akitaka kubiria watu watahitaji merikebu ya mutu. He can walk on water. Why, why not just walk on air and preach to people? Bebu inasema alikuja and many people were praising him. Haka songwa na watu karibu wakuke kwa maji. Haka songwa na watu. 
lakini akaona kuna marikebu hapa na na wavuvi wametoka kwenda kuosha neti akaikalia oh and then bibi natumia i want you to see go that, uh, see go that uh, sorry go see that in the book of Luke chapter 5 ametumia jinafani akasema and he prayed to peter the same word he uses when he says we pray to him god came as a needy man god the fullness of god wrapped up in flesh akakuja akaambia peter i pray you i i beseech you nisaidie na marikebu nihubirie watu Peter naye anajua akaodoka. Na angalia hafanyi muujiza bere. Maana he must test you. Alipokalia Merikebu akahubiri. Na Yesu alikuwa na Samuel mrefu. Ndio sababu itabidi munizoe. Si aje sociali dai hadai hu. Akahubiri, akahubiri, akahubiri. Alipomalizana na watu dia aligaukia Peter akamuuliza, "Eh, hey, kama tali thamaki?" Na ametumia hii Merikebu kama masaa mawili. Dia anamuuliza, "Why don't you have fish?" Uh, Peter Kazemo you have toiled the whole night. We caught nothing. I come on it was then. Power is here. Come to kuwa merikebu na neti uweke pale. Oh rapira kayama. Look at the attitude he said we have toiled the whole night. Our human wisdom can't do that. But according to your word. Ah. In other words I understand hata kama hauna merikebu you have a word greater than my ship. According to your word we shall do that. The Bible says when Peter parted they got a net breaking catch. Oh rabashanda what happened? They called to their partners to come help them. Let me tell you when you partner with anointing God will give you partners. Partnership begets partnership. I declare over your life in the name of that above every other name. Wengine wangu hapo mmeshukuliwa na watu wa kazi ukiajiri wanakuibia wanafanya nini today? as you stand with this ministry to be a partner may god give you free for partners in jesus name akupatia watu ambao watakueleza watakueleza mizigo iko wapi na hawataki bribe they just doing it because you're blessed i want to pray with you i want to touch and agree with you for your needs the bible says is anyone among you in trouble let him pray don't quit until you pray god answer the prayer let's pray father in jesus name i thank you for our viewer and i bless your name for the gift of faith How I pray in the name of Jesus touching and agreeing with him that the glory of God will be revealed in his or her life whatever kind of problem right now he's trusting you with father you are well able to do exceedingly abundantly above beyond what we pray think or imagine and right now in Jesus name you are making it happen you are causing an answer to come through and your people will rejoice and your people will glorify you We thank you and we honor you. Any sick person, I command healing in Jesus name. I command cancer to be healed. I command whatever kind of disease right now be healed. I declare healing upon the viewer from the top of his head to the sole of his feet in Jesus name. I declare peace upon every home where the program is being watched. I declare togetherness, grace in the marriages everywhere. Our program is able to reach in Jesus name. And I thank you Father because we shall also have peace in the uh, in the country of Kenya economically spiritually and your name will be glorified in Jesus name we pray and we give thanks amen if you are there you are not born again i would like you to give your life to Jesus you see life does not make sense and your life begins the day you accept the redemption gift by the finished work of the cross let me pray with you say after me lord jesus i believe you with my heart i confess you with my mouth as the lord and savior of my life fill me with your holy spirit write my my name in the book of life i receive you today and i'm saved in jesus name until we meet again i have a wonderful time and god bless you